Six to one, clear. Retreat. Two minutes. I'd like to welcome you, <laughs> you fine fellows. Meet my family. <laughs> Brennan, report in. Gus? Their radio signal is gone. Julia, do you have contact? Check. I got them. Tim Gus and the hostage are coming out. Is Brennan's team secure? Negative. You need to go back and get them. No. We must get the package secured at once. Hans, be secure. We can risk it. Orders are to be followed. We're going back. Doc Henry, on me. <laughs> you got something that belongs to us. And I want it returned. I will kill each one of you until I get what I want.
It's okay, we're here. We've got you. Breathe, brother, breathe. We're right here. We're right here. Vivare militare est. He was a good soldier. He was also a good friend. We should have gone back immediately. We had other priorities. No, we had the wrong ones. A father who spends millions on boats and planes, but refuses to pay the ransom for his own son? We accepted the assignment. Every one of us knew what we were up against. Bruno was a consummate soldier, but you already know that. You know what I know? Vimy security. That is now dead for me. We built this firm from the ground up, Gus. Because we believed it. VME. Viva re militare est. To live is to fight. Now what does it mean to die? You're now owner of the best security and personal protection service in Europe. Mr. Laubach, congratulations. Thank you for your help. My pleasure. Gentlemen, I'll see you out. You seem to be bored by the party. I pretty much just arrived. And there's nothing like a party to remind me how old I am. My father used to say, to grow older is the only way to live longer. And you? Oh, you're charming. <laughs> what I meant was, are you bored as well? No, I just had to get rid of these. I don't know how people enjoy that all night. Please excuse me. It was very nice to meet you. I did not expect you to show up. <laughs> I find surprising the enemy is always the best tactic. And what, may I ask, have you been doing with yourself for the last couple of months? Oh, I went here and there, and in the meantime tried very hard not to kill anyone. But it wasn't easy. I wish there was some kind of self-help route for that. I have through the sale of the firm so much cash that I'll never be able to spend all. Honestly, I don't really know what to do with it. If you continue to talk like this, I'm sure you can find someone here tonight who'd be happy to take on the responsibility of spending your money. I mean, just look around. <laughs> I'm Michaela, by the way. Storm. Uh, Hans Georg Storm. <laughs> I would hope I don't have to call you by such a formal name. Oh, you do if you're his friend. Hans. And you are? I am most definitely delighted. 
Ooh, man with manners. Well, we men do what we can. Oh yes, and what can you do then? How about give you an adventure? <laughs> Too exciting for me. All right, how about a dance? I would love that. Excellent. Would you like to dance with me? Me? Uh, yeah. Yes, I would. Come on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> These are for marching and not for dancing. <laughs> are you a soldier? Yeah, I was one, yes. Good, because you know, the suit doesn't fit you. <laughs> well, I guess it's just like your shoes then. <laughs> I would never have imagined. Yeah, you like a regular Ginger Rogers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oops. Oh, easy, easy. <laughs> Gus, I wanted to say thank you again. That was a great evening. Seriously, thank I'm you. happy you made it, Hans. Yeah, yeah. Right, just ah, uh, yeah, okay. It's all good. It it's all good. Now. It's all. It's watch your it's head. All good. Watch your head. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> everything's all right. Oh. Michaela, you're... Uh, uh, what are you doing? Hey! Yeah, I was trying to get you on the phone for hours. Yeah, I noticed. Why would you do such a thing? I just wanted to thank you again for last night. And I couldn't wait? You're welcome. I called Michaela. That's great. That, that, that's, that's, that's really great. And I'm taking her to dinner tonight. How can you think of food this early? Oh, plenty of water will help. I should have done the same. Um, uh, I am really not feeling well, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, okay? Bye. Close that door. Let me do it. Okay. This is old school. <laughs> All right. All right. Come on. This time we're gonna do this right. Uncle Gus! I need go! Oh, goodness! <laughs> if you get any bigger, I'm gonna drop you. Mommy! Uncle Gus is here! Sheila. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. It's been far too long. Oh, I've been kind of busy. Yeah, I can see that. Nice. Diana, Michaela, Michaela, Diana. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thanks. Annika? Annika. Hello. Hello. How Stand are you? Stand down, soldier! 
Just leave the civilian population alone. Good to see you too, Commander. Come on. That was delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Diana seems like a nice girl. Uh, she's very nice. Firecracker. Is it serious? I definitely think it is quite possibly serious. I don't know. Have you noticed something about Hans? Uh... No. What's the matter? Things aren't so good for him at the moment. He's... He's had to see the doctor a few times. What is it? everything's gonna be fine. It's just... Sometimes he's acting so strange. He's just sitting there staring at Anikarmi, not saying anything. Maybe you can talk to him. I mean, maybe I'll talk to a friend. I can do that. Thanks. Here you go, Commander. Hello. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You know, I cannot believe a German gentleman has a taste for American beer. <laughs> it reminds me of my time there and spending time with GIs. Um, Michaela says you were going to the doctor? <laughs> That's nothing. Just had a little checkup. Mm. I believe I'm being watched. By whom? What makes you think that? It's just a... a feeling. <laughs> Commander Hans, I think you were missing the danger. I think your body needs the adrenaline rush, all right? That's what I think. Gus, do you think it's about time that we headed back? Uh, yes. You see that hottie? That is where I'm going. Okay. Okay. Go home. The phone is dead.
Get Annika, but be quiet. What are you up to? Would you just do as I said? Stop it! Now take it easy. Drop the clubs. Well, Mr. Storm, you have a guest. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. You have to find them. See that they don't hurt Annika now. If they wanted to hurt her, they wouldn't have taken her and left you behind. What do they want? Did they ask for any money? Did anyone use a name? Uh, did they have a speech impediment or an accent? Anything? Tattoo. There is a surveillance camera. Okay. The data is on my hard drive in the cupboard. You know where I keep it. I'm gonna put a team together. We need some of our guys. No, no, no. That attention you draw will be far too much. That is why we need to be fast and effective. We need our team. You must go find them, Gus. And when you do, they will die. I'll take care of it. I don't have any money! Don't come back until you got money to pay the bill! I really hope you found a shitload of money out there so you can pay the bill. Otherwise, there's gonna be trouble. Well, I didn't find the money, but I did meet a happy drunk. Gus? Hello. Welcome to Happy Burger. May I take your order, please? Yes, actually, I'd like a triple patty big burger, but a uh, raw beef and no pickles, please. No way. Let's go. Nice chips. <laughs> a 
Attention! I thought we'd already lost you now that you've got a nice, cushy office job. God? Uh, uh, what are you doing here? I'm putting together a team. Are you working on all three computers at the same time? Uh... Well, yeah, I, uh... On this here, I work for a big oil company that pollutes the global oceans, but pays me very well. And on this one, I'm writing a virus for a militant environmentalist group that happens to oppose that oil company. <laughs> Discovery, liberation, retaliation. No payment. Cool. Yeah, so, uh, then he came over to me. You know what he said? I'll tell you what he said. Shut up. Check this out. Wow. What do we got here? Huh? Tank empty? I think she's all out. You want service? Yes, can you fill up the tank? Oh, we can do that. Don't be shy. Oh, she's got a nice chassis. Hey, we just want to help you fill up her little tank. Maybe we can have some fun together. What do you think about that? I'm sure you'll have fun, baby. <laughs> hey. Thanks. How much was that? Nothing. It's on these guys. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Why are you in such a hurry? <laughs> I don't think we have enough money, tiny man. Good job, Henry. Yeah. Well, well. You would make a great hooligan, wouldn't you? Your actions tonight have shamed the police force. Give me that. You're suspended until further notice. And for crying out loud, put on a shirt. Oh, shit. Looks like you need a new job.
Huh, nice place, Gus. We'll set up the command center in here. Bare essentials. Tables, chairs, computers, desks, message board. Double time, so let's get everything up and running ASAP. So, where's the ladies' bathroom? Play it. Play it again, and zoom in on the guy's neck. Print it. Hmm. All right, listen up. Our first target, the man with this tattoo. We have no other leads, so let's start with the artist who gave it to him. Shake down all the tattoo parlors, talk to anyone who's had a needle in their hand or who's had one stuck in them. And when we find this target, bring him in alive. We need him to tell us where the others are and where to find Sturm's daughter. Flo and I will try to find Doc. Well, actually, I know where he's... All right, listen to me, Flo. When we find this piece of shit, we need him to tell us where the others are and where we can find the girl. Who's the one person we know who can make anyone talk? It's Doc. Now, where is he? Before I came here, I tried to lose myself in bars, but the drinking made it worse. I'm sorry, I... I didn't realize how much the past still bothered you. <laughs> yes. You have seen me doing a lot of very bad things. And when you left the room, I did a lot worse. When I step out into this world beyond these walls, the memories of what I've done just come back worse than ever. And this place helps you? It's a quiet place. Look, I'm sorry I can't help you. I will pray for little Annika's safe return. Maybe you should pray for all of us. And Julio. You know where to find me. Still got a thing for big guns, eh, Julia? Shh. Mm. Well, all I can find are small targets. Size isn't important. It is. Who told you that? Your mum. Doc 
is not on board. He's on a different path. So we need to find a suitable replacement for him. Yeah. I guess we've got something. Tattoo studio. I'm on my way. We got something. Stay alert. Monastery become too quiet for you? Okay. Let's go. You're done, bro. Thank you so much. All right. So, have a seat. Yeah, when you guys walked in, you know, I would never have expected this bloke to be the one getting tattooed. Where do you want it? I'm thinking maybe... Same place this guy has his. Right there. Politely, one last time. Who is this guy, and where do we find him? I won't say shit, you wanker! I always wanted to have a go on tattooing. Do you think I'm afraid of needles? <laughs> that is not my first tattoo! Armpit. I need a name. Hey, Rev, why don't you give us a sec? So tough not to crack. The guy we're looking for is his brother. No wonder he didn't want to give him up. Nearly ran out of ink. I understand. For us, it's just good to have you here, okay? Let's go! Yeah, Joe, we got the first name. Quinter Club, 30 minutes, Robin Vig. Add backup. Hey, bro, what's up? What? Come 
The girl. <laughs> we know what you did. Talk. Gus? I'm getting bored. Ah! I really don't know! I have no idea where she is! I swear! Then tell us who you're working with. Killian! Killian Burkhardt! <laughs> ah! ah! Fuck! Get on us! Where did it come from? Stay up here. It was Julia. Stay up here and secure it. Benny, Henry, on me. Breathe slowly. Henry, that way. Okay. Gus! Are you okay? Dusky dies, so do you. So you hide away from the world in here. What are you doing here, Julia? It's nice to see you too. I miss you. Maybe it's better for everyone that you find someone else. I don't want to find somebody else. Gus, you can't be serious. Gus! All right, Doc, let's look at the evidence. We have one dead man, one of us is seriously injured, and an empty shell case into her rifle. Again, I had to leave my post for a few minutes. Someone knocked me down. I passed out, and when I came to, Radoski was already shot. I saw someone running off, so I started chasing him. Really? And what did that someone look like? Well, I don't know, because he was wearing a mask! 
Boss! And why did you leave your position in the middle of an operation? Huh? You tell me that! Doc! Man, what happened? Enemy attack from within. Hey, guys, what's all this? We've got a dead suspect and a traitor amongst us. Hey, stop playing with me and let her go right hey. away. We have reason to believe she shot Radowski. Until otherwise proven, she's in lockup. Take her down. Come on, guys, that's enough! Hey, stand down! This is not about personal feelings. We are on a mission. Act like it! Let's go get Killian Burkhardt. How's he doing? The bullet just missed his heart. He's lost a lot of blood. Anyone else, I would be worried. But Radovsky... Give it a couple of days and he will be trying to arm wrestle all of us again. Good. I need to borrow your special case. Why? Need to have a chat with Julia. Please, let me talk to her. To deal with Julia, all of a sudden you're the old doc again? Let me talk to her. I know her better than you, and I know how to get through to her. I don't think so. Look, we don't have much time. Gus, please give me a chance. You. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Something goes wrong and my teammates think I'm a traitor? That's wrong! Why did you leave your post? I haven't been feeling good for a while. I felt sick. Really? And how long have you been sick now? For a couple of weeks now. Look, do whatever you need and want to do, but I'll tell you now, and I'll tell you after. I'm not a traitor. Just let me check a few things. Now, what do you remember from the roof? I'm sorry, but that's all I can remember. There. Presenting Killian Burkhardt. Military training, six months Afghanistan, then straight to GSG-9. Where do we find him? 
Yeah, that's the great mystery. There are no records for him. He has no home address, no car registration, nothing. There's actually an email address that's regularly accessed from a smartphone, if you can believe it. I can try to track it. Shall I? Do it. Now. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Ladies, I think I found him. Oh. Uh, it's a split signal. It would seem that somebody doesn't want us to find him. So what are you trying to tell us? That he could be at either of those locations. Okay, we split in two teams. Doc, you with me? Joe and Benny, you grab Henry and you follow the signal in the city. Good job. Must be somewhere around here. I don't like it. Up there. Your signal is changing its position. Copy that. We're in pursuit. Let's go. Yeah, Gus? It was a trap. He knows who we are and that we're following him. Where are you? We're on the outskirts of the city. B-12 in the south. Flo! Track my car with my cell signal. Do the same with Joe. You need to lead us to them. Okay, give me a second. Sharp right turn in 200 meters, then immediately right again. Benny, stay on them. Game on.
Lay down. much of that dog. I want to have a clear mind. I've hacked the signal of the camera you saw in the field. It was really well encrypted, but I've programmed something that can crack it. It's just a matter of time till we know where the data was sent to. These men have a military background. Professionals. Any idea who they are? Who they are working for? Scores Julio. Goes wait. I don't like the thought of doing this either, okay? But time is running out. We need to save that little girl before it's too late. Goes, let me do this. I will make her talk. Yeah, you had your chance. Goes. You better back up. Back up! You dragged me into this. You let me do my job. One hour. And you really think you can get an answer in an hour? Yeah, in about an hour. They'll have a result. Hey. Hey. This is urgent. Are you in some shit? Just make it as quick as you can. As soon as you have a result, text me on this number. Okay, you got it. Henry. Be careful, yeah? Mm. I didn't want that. The losses are simply too high. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> sit down. Sit down. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Putting the team together was my idea. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You must be doubly vigilant. We don't know what kind of opponent we're up against. Wind in this mind, says the Lord. Come on. Yeah? Yeah! I got it! I know where the signal's been routed. Okay, call Gus right away. I'm on my way. Uh, uh, wait a minute. You better have a look at this here. Gus, we have a problem. Are you sure? 
I got here as fast as I could, Gus. I understand. Good job. I'm on my way. We have a good lead. Anyway, stay here. Take care of the commander. What is this crap? I can take care of myself just fine. That's an order. Okay. Watch out, Gus. The signal is directly routed into an office on the fifth floor. I'll try to disable all the security systems and shit. Give me, uh, ten minutes. Okay. Benny, can you take care of that? I'm not playing Super Mario right now. I need quiet. What is it? I have to pee. Let's just hold it in. Hey, come on! Benny! Julia! Benny? Where's Benny? Where are the others? Julia, it's just me. I'm alone. Flo, I don't have time for this. Where are the others? Okay, uh... There. Julia. <laughs> we are here for Mr. Burkhardt. Mr. Burkhardt. Mr. Burkhardt's not in today. Well, that is funny because he just called us and wanted us to see him today. Maybe you could check again? No. We have to get to Gus and Doc and help them. I better go. You'll have to provide support from here. No, I can't sit back and do that. We'll need every man. Okay, I'll get the guns. Good.
little late for that. Put your hands up. Search him. Who put a hit on Sturm? Why were Killian Burkhardt and Gunther Klopp sent to rape his wife and kidnap his daughter? I really don't know. I've got nothing to do with this. I just work in the office. So if you have nothing to do with it, then why are you destroying these files? I'm only doing uh, what I'm told to do here. What's the password to this computer? I don't know it. Ah! The password. <clears throat> okay, okay. Drop the gun. Drop it! What are you doing here? Well, I thought you might need some help. We did. Good to see you. Yeah. No! He was carrying my child. Somebody will pay for it now. Not yet. Get the name.
Got the name. We don't want to wake your daughter now, do we? Do you recognize my voice, Mr. Laubach? Yes. So you know exactly why I'm here. No. Really? This man will not hesitate to kill your daughter if you lie to me one more time. So think before you speak. Where is Annika? Does the name VME Security mean nothing anymore? Do these letters now stand for rape, murder, and extortion? Do you have any idea what those letters stood for when we sold the company to you? Something in Latin? Vivare militare est. It's a dead language, isn't it? Something you'll have in common very soon. It was a contract. We received a call and then we got the cash. I know quite well the old VME carried out other assignments in its day. Listen, we never accepted any assignments that involved rape or kidnapping a child. One must adapt to the times. 300 meters, turn left. Where are we going? <laughs> Look, I told you she's safe. Commander? I'm sorry, my friends. I messed up. Commander, have you seen your daughter? <laughs> we'll kill every single last one of you bastards if I have to. Do it, dog. Kill them all! Just what the hell are you guys waiting for? Let's take it easy. We need to figure this out. I ordered you both to kill him! Doc, no! Captain! Commander, you're not thinking straight. They have your daughter. No. Oh, but they don't. Just kill them all! No! You simply kill them all! No. Uh.
What the hell is going on? What kind of sick and twisted game are we playing here? First you kill your own team, then you kill your friends and your wife, and now you have your gun on your own child? You're the one responsible for their deaths. I didn't want anyone to come here. I didn't want the team. Just you. Why? Because you took everything from me, Gus. Everything that ever meant something to me. My company. But you fight. were happy. You found some peace. You had a great wife. You had a family. You had everything right here. <laughs> everything here, yeah. I had a great wife. But you had her before me. That's the reason for all of this? A drunken one-night stand years ago? Hans, she loved you. As you know, I have been to the hospital. I'm terminally ill. They say it is a hereditary disease that I got from either my mother or my father. Michaela didn't know anything of it. But I did what any caring father would do. I went to the hospital with my little daughter and had her thoroughly examined. They took some blood and ran the full program. One result was, she doesn't have the disease. Another result was, she is not my daughter. Can you imagine what it feels like to discover that for eight years you have raised somebody else's child? And that you have lived together with a woman that for eight years kept a dirty secret. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had Michaela killed. And I will kill you too. All the others are on your conscience. Hans, you're crazy. <laughs> Please. Let the kid go. Go to your dear papa. No, there is your father. Say it. She's just a child. Let her go. Say it! Hans, do whatever you want to me, but let her go. Say it! Let my daughter go! Run, hide. Yeah. 
Are you still standing? I'm not complaining, but I saw him shoot you. The word of God. The New Testament. The old one would have been thicker. Maybe I should revisit. I reckon the other cheek has been turned. It's God's will, I guess. Thank you.